case. So just trying to go from each distance, giving it that curve, setting the corner point, and using Command Plus to really zoom in so you can see what you're up against here. Spacebar again. Brings this up. And if it's too far, then just back it up and break it into these points, slowly building that up. So we'll take a moment here. And for any of these curve points, you can actually set a corner point and come back to curve it. Or just curve it right away. And for the detail, you're trying to get as much accuracy as you can. So it'll build that section up. So this is, again, right on your desktop for that section there. Thank you. So I'm just going to back that up there. And the space bar still lets you move an active point. go to the top to make that curve. You can see it has a white outline stroke for the fill. setting these corner points. So here's where you can just do the straight point and come back or just click to get that curve. Click and drag the handles out. Zoom in again so you can get a nice close up. where you have the curve where you can just go right at the top part of the cur curve and illustrate that real quickly. <coughs> and just hold the option for the end point. <coughs> that gives you the ultimate version there, clicking the command, the shift X to fill it with black to white. It does have an outline to it. And the next part just kind of bringing into the head of the bird. This is where you can use some of the width tool to build some of that line up. Bring that piece up. Again, when you do something like the, the eye, you can do one side to the 
other. Taking a look at all of these items, you can select them. You can change the point size again as you have the stroke, <coughs> changing the layer itself on there. So we'll just take that shift to the eyeball out and blending it in there. So you can set it up with the profile first, see if there's some of the parts with the width tool that you can change with some of this. Here, so let's see what happens there. Remember the option key, holding that down. And make sure you have it right on that anchor point, otherwise, it'll split the two together. Right. And you can move that point too, but it'll give you a little bit more effect on there so you can kind of get that look to it and you can take away the scan just to see it and adjust it accordingly. So once you have that part, the bird is uh, the eagle here. This part, I'm just going to put a stroke to it. So right now it's blank, but I'll give it a white stroke. And here's the stroke, and just go to the outside of that image. <clears throat> and then select it and group it together. So now it's on its own, own path there. And then the rest of it is relatively easier <coughs> putting together all the lines and rulers. So I don't really have a center point yet. So I'm going to take the elliptical tool, deselect everything, and go ahead and switch this part and create an ellipse. And do it for the outside or the inside circle. doesn't matter which one you use, but try to match it up. And that'll give you a point of reference in order to put a ruler guide right down the center, both vertical and horizontal, and giving you the color choice. So just kind of taking that off and just using the stroke inside that. And here you can just go to Object Path, do the offset of the path, hit Preview. See, it's an in inches. So I'm going to cancel that and go into the rulers and change it to uh, points. That way, it'll give it a little bit of an even um, unit of measure. Hitting offset there. Hit OK. So it gives me that section. And just do it one more time. Yeah, offset the path. And this is going to be the baseline for the text. So I'll click OK on that. So here I can take the text tool, click inside, get it text to path, click on it, capital. And here's where I'm just going to put a little bit of space with the option 8. give me the, uh, the text that I'm looking for. Select all of that. Change the character palette. Let's type in times. Here's the paragraph. It's just going to center it so it stays centered in there. 